everybody, I'm Joe Kellinger. Uh, I'm a real estate investor and entrepreneur. And we put these videos together every week to give you all the tips and insights from my experience over the last several years. So uh, make sure you tune in and subscribe. And uh, thank you. We've got a good one today. Yes, we do. Well, I hope anyway. No, I know we do. Uh, I brought in the professional. We're going to talk about the top QSR, quick service restaurants, mm -hmm. for 2021. Yeah. Who are the standouts? What you should be looking for and why you want to invest in them. Mm -hmm. And for that, I brought in Chris. Chris Hello. is from Commercial Brokers International in Los Angeles. Um, Chris is probably one of the only agents now in QSR that has three drive through restaurants in Los Angeles and San Diego County currently. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, he knows what he's doing, and so Chris, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me again. You betcha. We do bring him in every once in a while. So if you like what you hear today, make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already, and be sure at the end of this to smash the heck out of that like button. You um, follow me on Instagram and TikTok, LinkedIn. Yeah, he's he's what a self it? self promoter. You can see why he's doing so well. Um, all right, Chris, mm -hmm. 2021. Yeah, a couple days away. Yeah. Actually, by the time this video comes out, it's going to be 2021. Um, so. I'm a, I want to invest in QSR. Yep. I'd like to hear your top three QSR restaurants. Yeah, that's, yeah, yep. keep an eye your on. standouts for 2021. Yep. So what I you would, got? I would say definitely number one. I think is Shake Shack. They oh. had a great year. I love the product. I, um, you can't go wrong between a burger or a chicken sandwich. Yeah, you know, Danny Danny Meyer's restaurants. I tend to hit yeah. the park. So good I solid investment. Shake Shack is killing it. They're averaging a volume from what I've seen in uh, Q1 of 2019 when the reports came out was about four million. Average unit volume per store is four million, which is a great number to have. Yeah. Uh, it's a private company. Any they do have a few stores that are licensed out, but for the majority, they're all uh, private company corporate. Okay. Um, Great stores. I love the locations we're in. I love the imaging. I love the products. I love okay. the whole brand. So definitely keep an eye on them growing for uh, 2021 if you're interested in looking for a new tenant for your location or uh, making a triple net investment into a uh, location one of those as a tenant. Now, have they, they're in some pretty, like, like they were started in Union Square, I believe, mm -hmm. right? Have they taken a pretty good hit in the, during the pandemic? You know, they've uh, been operating like normal. Pretty well. I mean, everyone's kind of going to a drive through method and takeout and delivery. Obviously, your everyone's sales were dependent upon casual dining, beer and wine, stuff like that, yeah. which they do have, um, was affected, obviously, right? Sure. There was an impact on that. You can't sit down and drink there and have uh, your higher ticket sales. Of course. But their product, th that product that they serve is designed for takeout and delivery. Okay. The burgers and fries and the drink, the price points are very affordable, okay. especially if you're in a... Uh, yeah. more affluent parts of the country. So I, I like everything that they're doing. I think they're in a great trajectory to keep growing, and uh, I think 2021 is going to be a great year for them. Okay. And they're going to keep going. All right, number two. Number two is a very tough one, but I think Dave's Hot Chicken is going to win this one for me. Yeah, that company seems to be really yeah. on a growth pattern. If right you're now. in California or San Diego even, where they have a locations open and you've seen the lines for Dave's Hot Chicken, uh -huh. they are insane. I mean... Pre-COVID, you would experience about a half an hour to an hour wait. Right. Uh, I think we even went to one and had the we same did. experience before yeah. COVID. Yeah. So and damn hot that day. It was. Yeah. I love Days Hot Chicken. Right now, they're currently at 200 locations in development. Um, and that was at the middle of the year. So they're probably going to have about a quarter of that done by 2021 going. They're, you know, throughout the country from Michigan, Ohio. And are, they, are they franchising? They are franchising, okay. and I think that's a great opportunity if you are looking to be a franchisee of a great brand. I think Dave's is one of the ones that you can't miss. I mean, you know. Yeah, okay. Um, all right, number three. Number three. I, you know, I'm a chicken guy. So I was going to say right there. Another it's chicken a, restaurant? It's another chicken restaurant. That's all you're seeing in like QSR Magazine and, yeah. you know. But this one is a very simple concept, much like Raising Cane's. It's called Slim Chickens. I love the brand. When I look at the reviews online, I obviously haven't had it myself, but all the reviews online are outstanding. Okay. It's a simple menu. The AUV, the average unit volume for them now, is about 2.3, which has grown during the pandemic. Because it was 2.1, it went to 2.3 last quarter. So they're a growing company. I think as a brand develops and expands, mm -hmm. they're definitely going to have strong sales, and they're going to give Raisin Cane's and Chick-fil-A uh, a run for their money, I think. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um... 
What's your what's your bonus one for the year? You want you a got, bonus one for the year? One. Okay. Because I, these guys are it's okay. So the new year, I think they deserve it. They so. do. They do. Uh, my bonus one is actually the habit um, for a couple of different reasons. Oh, Yum Brands. Yum, well, okay. they were acquired by Yum Brands recently. Yep. yep. Just acquired um, by Yum Brands. They're more of a regional corporate brand with some are franchise they? stores out here, but they're going to be growing. I think especially with Yum Brands behind them. Yeah. So. I mean, I think watch out East Coast, watch out Midwest, watch yeah. out because I mean, the Habit has great burgers. I love the sweet potato fries from there. Okay. Uh, it's a great. I'm amazed you're this skinny. <laughs> Drives me nuts. You see how much I walk my dogs at night. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah. No, it's having yeah. that Yum Brands behind you. Mm -hmm. That's huge because they have what KFC, Pizza Hut, Del yeah. Taco. Who else? Not Del have? Taco. It's a KFC, Taco Bell. Pizza, uh, KFC Pizza. KFC Pizza. John Silver's and W is not there anymore. Um, yeah, those are the main young brand players, and then yeah. they always have a few smaller ones that they're developing up into. Okay. Like the habit. But yeah, I mean, all these restaurants, if you kind of think about 2021, they all have one great trait, and that's mm. that they all have that craveability factor that they all, okay. whether it's a Dave's Hot Chicken and you crave that spicy chicken sandwich, or it's a Shake Shack uh, cheeseburger right there that you want, or it's, they all have that it factor that makes yeah. you just want to go to the restaurant no matter how long the way it is or yeah. where it's located. Okay, and so let's, let's go back to it. So. Number one, Shake Shack. Number one, Shake Shack. Number two? Dave's Hot Chicken. Number three? Uh, Slim Chickens. Slim Chickens. And number four? Well, the bonus would be the habit. <laughs> the habit. And by the way, for the, you know, don't be shy to send us some free uh, sample meals. Yeah, exactly. We'll have to tag the heck out of everybody here. <laughs> tag Maybe. everybody. Uh, we'll be fat and happy in 2021. Well, Chris, thank you for coming in and doing thank this for us today. Um, if you want to reach out to Chris, we're going to put his, uh, all of his information down below. Uh, if you have questions, don't hesitate to reach out. You can DM me direct or give me a call, 310-943-8542. And if you haven't done so, please do subscribe and make sure you do that. Hit that like button now. And follow right me now. on Instagram. Oh, and follow him on Instagram, too. So. All right. Happy 2021, folks. Ooh, happy New Year's. <laughs>